Hey everyone, it's Emily from Life So Savory and today we're going to be talking about cutting fabric on your scanning cut. So we have two great mats, the standard mat and the fabric mat, and we have two blades, the fabric blade and the rotary blade. Both of those are going to come in super handy when you're cutting fabric. Let's start with way number one. You're going to use your standard mat and you're going to use the thin fabric auto blade. Go ahead and make sure that your fabric is backed with an applique backing. Here I've already pre-ironed it on and I'm using the iron-on fabric applique sheet from Brother. So put that applique sheet side down on your standard mat. That's just enough stick to stick to the applique backing. And then go ahead and cut the design that you wanted to cut. I'm just cutting a simple letter shape out of all of these so that you can see how each one compares as I cut using different methods. Again, today the tutorials, these are not all of the exhaustive ways to cut fabric, but these are just some of the most popular and easiest ways to cut fabric using your scan and cut. With the applique backing on the fabric, it gives a really clean cut line and is going to allow you to be able to press this easily to the next part of your project if you're using this for applique. The second way we're going to cut with the standard mat is using the rotary blade. So you're going to apply a high tack sheet to the standard mat. This is great for knit fabric and when you don't have a fabric mat. You will never want to put a high tack sheet onto your fabric mat, but in a pinch if you don't have a fabric mat and you need to use a standard mat, for fabric that is unbacked or like knit fabric that will stretch, you can go ahead and use the high tack sheet. I did not cover my entire mat with the high tack sheet, just the area as you can see where my fabric is. This is gonna create a clean cut. It's going to allow the fabric to stick really well even to a standard mat. And I use this really when I'm only cutting knit fabric because I really want it to stick and those fibers then can be peeled off because they're on the high tack sheet. All right, let's talk about using the fabric mat. So again, we're gonna go back to the thin fabric auto blade. We are going to roll some fabric onto my fabric mat, and this time I am using fabric that does not have a backing on it. So just quilting cotton, we can use that straight on the fabric mat. It is tacky enough to hold it in place. We do not need a backing, and then we can go ahead and cut again the same shape that we've been cutting using the fabric blade and using quilting cotton that is unlined. If you're having trouble getting a clean cut, you can always add a bit of spray starch to your fabric, let it dry before cutting, and you're gonna get a beautiful cut again. So the thin fabric auto blade on the fabric mat gives a great cut. And finally, you're gonna use thin fabric on the fabric mat, straight up, unlined, unbacked, and you can use the rotary blade. So depending on what you're cutting, you will use the thin fabric blade or the rotary blade. The rotary blade is great for geometric shapes and bigger, less complicated cuts. If you're using small, detailed cuts, you're gonna to wanna to use the thin auto blade as it gets better detail and is a faster cut. If you're using thicker fabrics or are just cutting out a million circles, triangles, or squares, then the rotary blade is a great option. You can see here it cut my A perfectly, but it is a little bit slower, and depending on what you're cutting, you're gonna wanna use both. So grab a couple of mats, grab the two fabric blades, and you can cut all the fabric you want with the scan and cut. Hope these ideas gave you some tips and get you inspired.